Hi my lovelies. So I have curled my hair today. I quite like it. I actually bought it all. They are, I think they are called skinny straighteners to deal with the really short bits here. So I just sort of give it a bend because you can't get um, curling tongs around that tiny short hair at the back but I quite like it but of course again I have just two small pieces of extensions it's all about this front I think I don't care about the back but I don't feel girly enough if my where at the front of my hair is um, short so again this this is just one clip you know I bought um, the body Body Works extensions, I bought two sets and I just cut them to size, sew more clips to it and I cut them to the length I want. So, can you see here? Let me just take it out. There it is. So I've just curled that bit. It just gives me a bit more, because you know my hair is so thin at the front, even if I curl it, it looks really and there is another one here so yeah I just have these two but I think it looks much better yeah I like it so I'm uh, not doing much today I'm just doing laundry and I think it's Sunday today so Polly's back and um, we're going to go together for a long walk with Louis so that's what we are doing today but I just wanted to show you my hair. The funny thing was, I came downstairs and and I said, Paul, do you like my hair? He said, yeah. He said, it's amazing that you can fit your own hair under that wig. I'm like, that's not a wig, it's my hair. So even Paul doesn't know when I'm wearing a wig and when I'm not. Um, obviously, if he was like in a bright room or something, he probably would know. But um, I always say that's just proof how good the wigs are these days that even he can't tell if I'm wearing a wig or not. And often you can't. I mean, sometimes when I've done my own hair and it's nice, freshly done, I get um, questions in comments, what wig are you wearing today? So yeah, the wigs are really good. I feel quite cute with these curls. Right, my lovelies, have it to go and I will speak to you. So this is my new hairdo for the gym. Um, just half up half down right what shall we rage about now I tell you what HRT so apparently there is a worldwide shortage of HRT brilliant so I told you it was probably now a month ago three weeks ago I've gone back to taking a uh, to you I've gone back to two estrogen patches a week which I was originally prescribed I went back to one because of the itching I'm not gonna repeat myself if you haven't been to these sessions of raging you need to catch up on all my Monday videos so the result of going back on two patches is the itching very very minimal minimal you know when I'm premenstrual but my booby soreness increased which it was like that when I originally was taking two and my period lasts longer so I suppose it's choosing between itchiness or the other two but now I feel like I've got no choice but to go back to one patch a week because there is a shortage so, what is that? Oh my god, naughty policeman. There's a policeman standing with a um, speed, uh, speed gun. I was going only 30. Anyway, so I was listening to something on the radio on the news somewhere that women are resorting to dealing illegal HRT in car parks so now I have to become a criminal and find myself HRT dealer 
honestly as if things couldn't get any worse so yesterday i thought i will order my repeat prescription because i've got my hrt on repeat prescription and in my nhs trust i go online i've got an app called patient access and i can order my repeat prescription on there and you may remember the last time i did it because i order it every six months was in november and i got a text saying that they refused it because i need to provide my blood pressure and my weight which i did and then they prescribed it to me anyway yesterday i go on to my repeat prescription it says i've got nothing there there is no drugs on my repeat prescription so i thought brilliant there is no way i can see a doctor or talk to a doctor because i'm this is not urgent in their eyes so i thought well i will phone the surgery and see if the receptionist can put a note or something so i found the surgery and i was 20 second in a queue which would be hours basically sitting on the phone so you can't do it that way you can't do it online you can't do it on the phone it's just honestly it drives me mad believe me if i never ever saw a doctor in my life again i would be more than happy and to be honest i've never had to uh, i mean i don't feel like i'm any strain on nhs the last time i've used nhs in any serious capacity as in being hospitalized was 22 years ago when i had my son um apart from that I may be been a couple of times to get antibiotics for my sinusitis in the last 20 years. Um, yes, I used to be on antidepressants, but I'm not even on that now. So I am not a strain on NHS, but when I really need them, no one then. So what I'm going to do is, on the way back from the gym, I'm going to pop into the surgery and talk to them if they don't kick me out because you know the receptionists were always gatekeepers and now they enjoy their power even more they might tell me now you have to do it online but you can't do it online so I will see I will pop in there and see what they say I honestly feel so much for people that are really ill and need the GP and if they have so much trouble to get to be seen or heard or anything it's just atrocious but this HRT shortage could be a problem I remember that happened a few years back that there was like a temporary temporary shortage of it but um, it's all because of all the supply chains are breaking down because of everything that's been going on for the last two years and now with the war and everything is just collapsing basically around us and i suppose you know they must be getting ingredients from different countries and putting it together so oh yes and on the website there was a um so i clicked on help and with the repeat prescriptions he said if you can see your repeat prescription click on request new medication well i didn't have that that option on my page so then i looked how to do that so then they said oh you have to contact your surgery it's pointless if you're gonna move all your care online at least make sure that it bloody works I don't mind doing it online I don't mind doing it on the phone but if you're going to do that make sure it works and the funniest thing is because I've done this before I couldn't get through to to the receptionist I think it was something to do with my um, smear test or something um, so I physically popped in to the surgery and the receptionist there was about three of them or four sitting there i didn't see one of them on the phone so i don't know why the phone queues are so long because i didn't see any of them being on the phone they just sat there doing nothing
today I will get my rage out now in the gym I'm here now I will sweat it out oh my god is the film crew here again what is that oh a dog yeah there is a film crew here again um, they very often film in this field here so lots of trailers and stuff as long as Alec Baldwin isn't here right I will speak to you later hello my lovelies so I have just filmed this look this is my half cut crease I don't know when this video is coming out but in a couple of weeks maybe uh, because I have already scheduled other videos so it is coming soon but I wanted to show you uh, Sigma has sent me some brushes and I will never say no to brushes and I think why they did that so I've got here four brushes and these are called boost your blend game with individual max blending brushes so these brushes before were only available in a deluxe blending brush set now you can buy them individually so let's go through them because there is a couple that i really like so e25 e25 it's probably the best selling brush for sigma what it used to be anyway love love e25 because you can do so much with it it reminds me a bit of mac 217 which i really like so it's this sort of shape you can lay down eyeshadow all over your lid then you can go this way to apply your crease color then turn it that way and blend it so i really really like e25 then you get e40 tapered blending i must say that this is probably my least favorite brush the e40 it's far too big for me it's enormous but i would use this for setting under my eye or for highlighter so you can use it for different things but for i this i this brush is huge um and i don't understand why they say tapered because to me tapered it would mean that it has a point at the top maybe because it's tapered here i don't know then e45 small tapered blending brush you see to me that is tapered because that is come comes to the point this one isn't well it is tapered but upside down <laughs> so this is good brush as well for your crease and then you can blend it out at the same time and then we have e49 medium tapered blending so you're supposed to be able to do your whole eye look with all this and you could well apart mind you this one is so tapered the smallest one that you could go underneath yeah that's probably my favorite when it comes to tapered blending the medium one so i just thought i'd show you uh, sigma brushes are lovely they are synthetic so unlike uh, my favorite Rifa brushes that are natural um, bristle brushes I'm wearing the John Renault Skylar today. I love this wig. Um, this is in Palm Springs Blonde, remember, but it's not as cool as the synthetic Palm Springs Blonde because this is true to life fiber, heat resistant, and they always vary a, a bit. This one is very similar to Shaded Biscuit. If you like Shaded Biscuit in um, Raquel Welch and this is the wig that I've sewn in clips and those combs so I don't have to wear anything underneath I don't have to wear the wig grip I just have a like the net wig cap on to keep my hair together yes I'm wearing a wig because you know my own hair is so short now so um, yeah that's what I've been doing today all morning I've filmed a couple of videos and I don't have anything else planned today well, I will be now 
editing this video so I am basically it's a whole day of work today right my lovelies just wanted to show you these brushes because they just arrived and what are the prices they are very good prices they are all of them are 19 pounds apart from the medium tapered which is 18 so they are very good price as well right I better go carry on with my work and I will see you later hi my lovelies so this is my hair do today that's how I did it today it's okay I still didn't like don't like it that short but I'm getting used to it I am off for lunch my usual lunch with my friend that we do every couple of weeks so we are going to check out what's in the shops and if I buy anything I will show it to you so yes looking forward actually I haven't seen her for a while because she's been on holiday so loads to catch up on really looking forward to coffee I haven't had coffee yet this morning so right I'm almost here so I'll speak to you later go Louis go why are you not going go hello my lovelies we are off for a walk beautiful sunny day so I haven't been vlogging much this week really because um, Max is moving out in a few days so I've been helping him to gather and pack some stuff he doesn't have that much um, he's not taking any furniture apart from his desk and obviously all his monitors and all his clothes and just stuff so um, yeah he bought all his own furniture so I haven't been doing that much a bit boring this vlog probably like every vlog so when I went to town with my friend I bought absolutely nothing didn't see anything I liked well there was a couple of things but I thought do I really need it no so I didn't buy anything but we had good two hours of chatting and two cups of coffee <laughs> so that was fun Louie come on It's nice and hot, but you're having your jumper. I'm not you're trying. It's horrible, Louis. Look, it's not very deep. Yeah. Dirty. Oh, there's two of them. <laughs> What is doggies doing, Louis? I 
thing. Can you find your way in there? Yeah. There you go. In you go. Go on. Oh. That's nice, isn't it? Nice and clean. Good boy. Why don't you lie down? Oh look, doggies coming. Look, the doggies coming. Doggy Lulu. Oh no. Hello. Hi. Here we go. Go, go, go. This way. Good boy. <laughs> Paul never knows how to dress himself <laughs> when it comes to the weather. When it's really cold, he wears the t-shirt and it's freezing. Today I told him it's really warm, so he's wearing a wool jumper. <laughs> <laughs> I'll take it off in a minute. Your, bare chested. Your, your, yes, who wants to see Paul bare chested? <laughs> Lulu, what are we doing here? Oh, oh lovely. <laughs> to the left. Now you go and get it. <laughs> I'm choking. Did you drink too much water? Can you please put your bottom away? Get a stick. Quick! Quick! There, Louis, this way. I saw that big this one. Louis, there, there. Good boy. That's a good yeah. Good boy. Good boy. Clever boy. Oh, oh, look. Look at the thing in front of his eyes. Oh, dear. Well done. That's good a, boy. That's a silly stick, isn't it, Louis? Daddy Ready? tried to stab you in the eye. Ready? To the left. Ready? This way. That's better. Okay, my lovelies. I hope you enjoyed a bit of Louis. And I will finish here because nothing else interesting is happening in my life. So thank you so much for watching. Have a wonderful week. And stay fabulous. Bye.